What's up, YouTube? Knowing Prayer 1995 here, coming to you with a Baby Raccoon deck profile. The long awaited Baby Raccoon deck profile. I was going to do this live with the actual cards, but for some reason my cameras are messing up. So I'll just. I just figured I would do it on the computer instead. So let's just, just get into the deck then. Uh, first, we have the three Bay Raccoon Pompoko. When it's normal summon, you can spell someone one level two beast type monster from your deck and face down in the best position. Which you always go for Tan Tan. If not Tan Tan, you would go for Nimbo Mumanga. So the next one is Bay Raccoon Tan Tan. When it's flip summon, you can spell someone one level two beast monster from your deck. But you always go for Kalantosa. And what Kalantosa does is if there is. Or if this card is special summoned by the effect of a beast monster, you can target one card on the field and destroy that target. So that's really good in my opinion. And there's five cards that can actually special summon this, so that's good. Three and move manga when it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can gain thousand life points and you can special summon any number of Nimble Momongas from your deck in face out in defense position. So that's really good also. Next card is Wind Up Kitten. It's a compulse basically. And you can only activate it once per turn. So that's good. Tree Otter. Once per turn you can target one face up monster you control. It gains thousand attack into the end phase. So this basically helps with the OTKs. Now two Kalantos or two Valerie Pawn and two Fabled Cerberal. What these do is okay, you can discard one card and then target one level two beast monster in your grave. So the combo with this is summon this, use this effect to discard Fabled Cerberal. Special summon Kalantos to destroy a card and special summon Fabled Cerberal from, by its effect when it's discarded. So that helps a lot. So with this, you can go Kalantosa, special summon this, and, go, and then go Air Drag Sunrise. So that's, that's actually pretty good. Or you can just snap steal your opponent's monster. So these two, really good cards. Now we have Key Mouse. Now it, this is only in there for the Naturia Beast plays, and it's really good in my opinion. Naturia Beast is really really good for negating stuff. Two Junk Synchron for the Junk Warrior OTK. That's pretty self-explanatory. Then you have Obelisk Tormentor. I might take this out for Beast King Barbaros, but right now it's a 4,000 beater, so it's really good. And you can normal summon it when you activate Obedient School. And now the spells. Three Obedient School. One of your main cards for this deck. Uh, you can special summon three level two or lower beasts with uh, different names. They have to be effect monsters. And their effects are negated and are destroyed during the end phase. And you can only special summon beasts during this turn. So that's pretty standard. Three Air's Rock Sunrise. Basically a monster reborn. And its effect is target one beast monster in your graveyard, special summon it. And if you do, I'll face up monsters your opponent control. Currently lose 200 attack for each beast, plant, or winged beast monster currently in your graveyard until the end phase. And you can only activate once per turn. So, this card is really good. It's Monster Reborn, helps with OTKs, and what is there to say about this card? What else is there to say? Snatch Steel. Oh, uh, why not? <laughs> it's Snatch Steel. Pokemon, really good in this format right now. So you really need it. Hopefully it goes up to two, possibly three. Who knows? Two Dark Hole. I did have Regeki in here, but I like to Dark Hole a little better for some reason. It's just a personal preference. And we have three MSTs, pretty standard. Now for Traps, Compulse. Bottomless, two mirror force and two deep prison. Uh, 
the mirror force really helps a lot. It destroys. Uh, it helps with the in the clipboard matchup. Like if they pendulum summon everything, and, and you have a mirror force set if they didn't have MST already, and they attack and you flip it, they're basically screwed. So really good. J Prison also helps with that. Now for the extra deck. Yeah, pretty standard numbers. You have three number 64s. Um, helps with the OTKs when a special summon, or you can d d detach special summon a token. That token's attack becomes the highest monster's attack on the field. So, really good. And it helps with the Junk Warrior OTK also. Gachi Gachi. Uh, helps OTKs. <laughs> Pretty standard stuff right there. Synchros, two fabled unicorn. While you and your opponent have the same number of cards in your hand, negate all spell trap and effect monsters effects activated by your opponent and destroy that spell trap or monster. So it's really good. Yeah, you know, screws your opponent over a lot. So yeah, I, I, I honestly love this card. It's probably the main card I go into. Now your Thunder Unicorn, uh, it's just in there for another level 5 until I can find another level 5 to put in. Allied Justice Catastrophe, really good. Frozen Fist I think it's better than Armadies in my opinion because it's a 2400 attack, or 2500, and does the same thing as Frozen Fist Hero. So. Junk, sing, uh, junk Warrior, discard. Honestly, it's really good uh, with the OTK. If you have this plus a token, and then you summon this, this gains the attack of those level two or lower monsters. So, pretty big junk warrior. <laughs> the tree of beast and the tree of bark in negates spells, negates traps. Pretty standard. Black rose dragon just blow up the field. Mr. Worm to return up to three cards your opponent controls. So that, that helps a lot. And number one synchro monster for this deck is also a beast. It's Leo. That really helps this deck. It's a big synchro monster. Easy to get out once you can pull everything off. And it's just a good card, in my opinion. So hope you guys like the deck profile of my babe raccoons it's basically what I had for the last format it's just a couple of changes I made and if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do or take out put in just let me know in the comments down below I, w I will respond I respond to almost every single comment and yeah if you guys have any suggestions of what else I should do, just let me know. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like down below. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. And if you haven't seen the previous video already, click the box in the bottom left-hand corner right there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.